that on air so we should Corvette first and second let's get down to Jan Magnussen Jan uh, for the moment is going quite good so far you have to say so uh, we had a good uh, uh, a bit, of, a bit of luck during the safety car and uh, the way things turned out, so we have a little bit of breathing space now. It's good for us. We can try and run our own race and just try and keep a good pace and uh, let everybody else chase us. So, so that, that's good. A good start to everything. Are you happy about your setups? Uh, so far, it seems like uh, only Ollie has been in the car so far. But uh, so far, it's pretty happy. Uh, this morning in warm-up, the car was already pretty good. So um, I, I think we should be okay. Thank you very much. Well, again, it does look like Chevrolet, as we see Peugeot's on pit road, does look like the Chevrolet Corvettes quarter break behind the safety cars. And again, this is one of the features of Le Mans because it is an eight and a half mile lap. They've decided not to have one safety car, but several. And that can either bring you closer if you get in the right queue to a rival, or if you're separated from rivals not too far in front of you by a safety car and you sit behind it and they aren't picked up by it, it can give them quarter of a lap, half a lap. And it does seem, as Jan Magnussen was just telling us, Corvette Racing now first and third have picked up an advantage, but there is Nick Tandy in that blue and black Felbermeyer Proton Porsche car. Guy who, like Damien Faulkner, who's with us here, races in the Super Cup. He's currently lying second in the GT class.